गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे सेम सेक्शन थ्री डेली सेक्शन फाइव दिस इज यू कैन चेंज बट फॉर दिस सेक्शन थ्री ब्रिटेल फ्रैक्चर कंसिडरेशन इंसिडेंट ऑफ टैंक फेलियर ड्यू टू ब्रिटेल फ्रैक्चर शॉर्टली आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग ड्यूरिंग हाइड्रोस्टैटिक टेस्टिंग और इन ऑल बट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंसिडेंट आफ्टर ए चेंज ऑफ हायर टेम्परेचर सर्विस इट विल नेवर है ना so that is all but so it may happen on on the first feeling of the cold weather after a change to a lower temperature service after a repair or alteration it may fail due to brittle fracture so this is all brittle fracture consideration so risk of tank failures due to brittle fracture is considered minimal after what conditions the tank has demonstrated its ability to withstand a combined effect of maximum liquid level highest stresses and lowest operating temperature if it is decided to change that service to a more severe service it is necessary to consider the need of hydrostatic testing if a tank cell thickness is less than 0.5 inch and an evaluation in accordance with section 2 api 650 3 has been performed the risk of brittle fracture is considered to be minimal Point five. This will change, I think, five. So, just no, no. Check it to know. Point five is right answer. No, no, no. Tank failure attributed to brittle fracture have occurred at sheet metal, cell metal temperature, sixty degrees Fahrenheit and above. The same five point three point five. That is okay. Some things I corrected. Some things balance. Yesterday's I think balance. I have not seen that. According to industry experience and laboratory test, what membrane stress is required to cause failure due to brittle fracture? Seven psi. Seven thousand psi. So, what is the lowest temperature that a tank constructed of carbon steel of unknown toughness may be used? The maximum thickness of cell is point six two five. So, there is a graph. If you go for section five. So, if you check it, point six two five. So you take point six two five. This is point six six seven eight nine ten seven six. That is forty degrees. It cannot reach forty five. Maybe forty two. Okay, but forty is okay. Right answer. So, what is the purpose of Figure Five One API Six Fifty Three? Provide an assessment procedure for evaluating atmospheric above-ground storage tanks. So, assessment procedure it is giving. And that is a network diagram. That's how to do it. So, you can refer Five Point One Figure Five Point One. Then comes inspection, chapter six really, but here section four. What is the purpose of periodic in-service inspection? Purpose of periodic in-service inspection is to assure continued tank integrity. 
of the following which is not considered that must to be addressed in determining inspection intervals for above ground storage tanks inspection interval for other equipment located near the tank under consideration not consider not to consideration corrosion prevention okay changes in service okay previous inspection results you need inspection intervals of other equipment located near the tank it is really unnecessary for this tank so what is the methods of inspection must be considered when establishing inspection frequencies on stream non destructive inspection so you can do at any time close vessel inspections of above ground storage tanks from ground are required owner operator personnel who may be other than authorized inspector may perform this inspection the interval of such inspection shall not exceed one month that is regular uh, intervals so it is only one month all tanks shall be given a visual exam, exam external inspection by an authorized inspector at what frequency so this authorized inspector is 5 years inspection conducted at it, at least every 5 years or at quarter corrosion rate of the cell whichever is less means to take action and here just uh, to find out if anything can be corrected if in between something will happen there is something like maintenance so it is a monthly external ultrasonic thickness measurement of cell while tank is in service can be a means of determining rate of uniform corrosion the extent of ut measurement shall be determined by owner operator what is the maximum interval of such thickness measurement and the corrosion rate is not known if not known it is 5 years if known it is 10 years or it is 15 years when the corrosion rate is known the maximum interval that is to be smaller than rca by 2n so you have to calculate when rca is the difference between the measured cell thickness and the minimum required thickness in mils in inches because when you divided by inches or you multiply up side by 1000 bottom side by 1000 it is useless all same so inches by inches also okay so minimum required thickness in mils and uh, n is the cell corrosion rate in mils per year or 15 years whichever shall be smaller that you have to find out so for here there is a tank established 0.585 inch so that is the thickness minimum thickness the cell was fabricated from
Vinte, vinte, falou vinte.
and the minimum thickness uh, yes the minimum thickness of a tank is established at 0.585 inch that is the minimum minus and then it is 3 by 4 inch plate fabricated from this so that is 0.75 and you have included 0.125 inch corrosion allowance so nothing to do with 0.125 because the last one is 0 0.85 585 so what you have that is not not a big thing tank has been serviced for eight years and current ultrasonic thickness measurement reveal and uh, so this is sorry this is 0 0.75 minus 0 0.585 divided by so that is the remaining thickness No, no, sorry. So seven one two is uh, like thickness uh, after eight. After eight years, no. Average thickness of point seven one. So this average minus this the remaining thickness. That is remaining to lose means corrosion allowance. That is remaining corrosion allowance. And that is 5.585 plus 125. If you add it is 0.75. So it is nothing but uh, just to show you this one. Unnecessary, they just make something. And then divided by two, this is RCA, means remaining corrosion allowance, and divided by N. N is the cell corrosion rate. So corrosion rate is 0 0.75 minus 0 0.712 divided by eight into two N, because that is the formula. So when corrosion rate is known, that is the formula. So they were 13 point something. So 13 years is the interval. Next inspection. Internal inspection are primarily required to do all but which of the following. Ensure the internal surface of the tank are thoroughly cleaned periodically. When can required internal inspection be performed by some method other than visual inspection? The internal inspection is required slowly for determining the condition of integrity of the tank bottom. Then you can do. According to API 653, all tanks that shall have a formal internal inspection conducted at interval defined by the standard. Who is required to conduct the visual inspection? The authorized inspector.
Interval between internal inspection shall determine by corrosion rates measured during previous inspection anticipated based on the experience with tanks in similar service. The internal inspection interval shall not exceed how many years? 20 years. That is internal inspection. This is This is external inspection. According to APA 653, authorized inspector, okay. What is the minimum thickness permitted at Next inspection for the tank bottom design with a means of providing detection at containment of bottom leak 0 0.05 inch. In cases where corrosion rates are not known, the similar service experience is not available. The bottom plate actual thickness shall be determined by inspection within 10 years. So internal inspection 10 years. Which of the following recognized alternative to internal inspection interval described in API 653? Risk based inspection procedure RBI. The owner operator is required to maintain complete record file consists of three types of record. Which of the following is not one of the three types of records? Repair alteration history, construction, inspection, fill files. There is nothing like fill cycles. Nothing like that. General inspection reports shall con include which of the following? Metal thickness measurement, repair conditions found, settlement measurement, and recommendation. Materials, the new materials used repair, alteration and reconstruction shall so confirm to which of the following, the current applicable tank standard. The cell plates and bottom plates welded to the cell shall be identified. Material identified by any of the following except owner operator experience with similar tanks in similar service constructed of similar material doesn't require further identification each individual plate for which adequate identification cannot be made and the plates shall be subjected to chemical analysis and mechanical test as required by STM A6 and A370 including Charpy B notch. Under the condition of API 653 required two tension specimen shall be taken at right angles to each other from a corner of each plate. One of these specimen must meet the specification requirement. Then the direction of rolling is def not definitely known. Even when material is identified, all cell plates and bottom plates welded to the cell shall meet the minimum requirement. The chemistry and the mechanical properties of materials specified for application with regard to thickness and design temperature given in API standard 650.
it is permissible to risk reuse existing role structural set if so specific so what specification applies yes existing role structural sets shall meet the requirement if astm a7 as a minimum flange material must meet the minimum requirement of material specification of current applicable standard false not current it should be the old as as construction code fastener shall meet the material specification of the current applicable standard yes fastener should be current but flange is old standard okay api 650 if existing plates are to be used to reconstruct the tank they shall be checked for which of the following excessive corrosion and pitting design consideration so design consideration other than normal product loading shall be specified by the owner operator weld joint details shall meet the requirement of which of the following the applicable standard and that is chapter 8 eh? 8.2 all these things written you can see the thickness to be used for each cell course when checking tank design shall be based on measurement taken within 180 days prior to relocation then you, you relocate so all things to be checked before 180 days means within 180 days if it is more than 180 days you cannot take shift it so you have to take again the thickness the maximum liquid level for hydrostatic test shall be determined by using which of the following the actual thickness measurement measured for each cell course the joint efficiency and allowable stress levels for existing welded joints that are not to be removed and replaced shall be based on original degree and type of inspection replacement and new penetration shall be designed design detailed welded and examined to meet the current applicable standard existing penetration shall be evaluated for compliance with original standard of construction with regard to seismic design reconstruction tanks shall be built to meet the stability requirement of the applicable standard tank repair and alteration this one is long i think so we'll stop here